Let's rock the house. Welcome to case study number 23 of this series, so brilliantly titled Kirk's 40 case study closings. I'm your host, Ryan Kirk. And these case studies range from vacant lots to custom luxury homes and total $2,042,081.71 in profits and equity without having to personally go see the property on some. With no cash, no credit of my own, it varies, and I'll explain. And I do it all with FlipLogic and 1888-CASH-OFFER. Now let's get into number 23 of the 40 case studies. And that brings us to 3910 Manzanita Drive in San Diego, California. What you're going to notice in this photo is we got, uh, what is that? Is that junk in the front yard? Uh, I guess that's patio furniture. It's a very small, tiny little house, one car garage, right? I mean, this thing was tiny. I think it was like a two bed, one bath, under a thousand square feet, small. It's off market um, and it was going through probate. And this was actually originated or referred to us by a probate attorney. So the property, so touching on that, probate attorneys are great contacts. Um, if you know any, or you have the chance to network with any, or you meet one, let them know who you are and what you do. You buy and flip houses, you can give them a quick cash offer and uh, make sure to uh, have them have you uh, put you on their uh, on their email list or on their speed dial uh, because the next property that they receive uh, you'd like to have a shot at putting an offer in on it all right uh, the property condition just cosmetic repairs sellers motivation while well, they just inherited it so as most inheritance properties go they just want to cash out that's they don't want to uh, deal with the property in most cases um, they don't want to deal with having to clean it up, put any money in it, uh, interview realtors. Most of them, they just want the monkey off their back. They just want to cash out, liquidate the property, and be on their way. So a lot of these people don't even come into town uh, sometimes. So we dealt directly with the probate attorney the entire time. Uh, the ARV on this turned out to be $360,000. Uh, the repairs, while it was cosmetic, we did um, estimate it at a middle of the road cosmetic. This was going to need uh, more than just carpet and paint. This was going to be kitchen upgrade, bathroom upgrade, flooring paint, um, and I think some trash out and cleanup. Uh, so that middle of the road for us here on this is about $25 a square foot is what we estimate. Um, lower ARV markets, you know, hundred thousands, two hundred thousands, maybe, um, or you're going less uh, on the on the finishing on the finishes. Maybe it's it's more of a landlord, uh, a rental type finish. Um, regardless, whatever the case is, maybe you're closer to fifteen dollars a square foot for your middle of the road. My middle of the road, twenty five dollars a square foot in this circumstance in this scenario. Um, Again, touching back on that, more cosmetic would be like $15 a square foot in this market for this lead. Maybe in your market, it's more like $10 a square foot. So 25, good middle of the road, perhaps for you could be $15 a square foot middle of the road. Purchase price, uh, we ended up coming uh, up with a purchase price of 225 and an exit price of 235 to an investor. So that's how the numbers worked out on that. So we, we got to profit 10. Um, you know, 225 was more than what we wanted to pay. But again, you start at, with your initial, you come up to your max, and then you always keep in mind what your, what your max rehab price is, which if you're exiting to a rehabber, that's, that's your exit price because that's their purchase price, the max rehab price. And you just try to stay underneath that as, as much as you can. And obviously you can come up to uh, within a few thousand dollars of it if you need to, uh, just to create a small margin. Uh, so we, we wanted it, uh, we, regardless, heirs wanted more. They ended up pushing up the price. We ended up getting somewhere around 225. Uh, we used a lot of reciprocity as always. Hey, if we pay all cash, pay all the closing costs, um, and close in 14 days, you know, what's the best price you can do for us? 225 ended up being the case. Um, our investor came from, you know, we always do a marketing blast to our existing list. We always check the comps that we use to support the ARV, where those flips. If so, who, who was in that chain of title? Who bought, fixed, and flipped it? You want to look them up, you want to call them, uh, and you want to pitch the deal to them. 
and then also run uh, an instant cash buyer search in FlipLogic and market it uh, to those uh, buyers and investors that come up that way too because you can quickly uh, get the deal marketed that way along with other uh, methods that are named in the steps on the lead you can find that you know on the right hand side in the steps on the lead um, it'll give you uh, more marketing methods that you can execute on so our profit was ten thousand uh, our funding that we used again purchase contract put it under contract used an assignment assigned it to a cash buyer they closed all cash and uh, everybody was happy um, again when that happens you know uh, escrow amends the the vesting from you to your new investor and then they put uh, your fee on the buyer's side of the settlement statement as an assignment fee to you uh, I believe in this case I don't think we used any cash I'm pretty sure we um, assigned the property within a few days definitely within a week and never had to wire a deposit so we had zero dollars out of pocket that we had to use to control the deal or even do the deal at all and um, as far as the inspection went uh, having to personally go see the property on this um, you wouldn't have to because it's not owner occupied if it's not owner occupied when your investors go over there with their GCs and they do their inspection there's no seller for them to uh, fraternize with so you wouldn't have had to personally go see this property you could be anywhere I'm in Los Angeles properties in San Diego you wouldn't have to personally have gone to see it uh, that's it so I hope that was uh, informative uh, for you statistically only 10% of YouTube videos are watched until the end so if you're in that 10% you're a hustler persistent determined to succeed and I wish you much success so thanks for watching and I look forward to working with you